hello YouTube and welcome to your 24th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be learning how you parse a string into a number with JavaScript now there are some methods we can use to parse a string into an integer or a number or any float number and in this tutorial we'll see which one of them is the fastest and how we can use them and why you should use them basically so coming to the question what is the need of parsing string into an integer this is needed because sometimes when we accept the input from user in the real world application then we don't know whether the user supplied a number or any string a random string so to validate against that number or string and take appropriate actions we need to check whether the string is number and if it is number then we need to pass that string as a number so first of all let's create a string which is actually holding a integral value let's say x is holding 100 or maybe some formal value like 2 raised to the power of 10 1024 so now let's see each and every method we have in javascript to convert a string into an integer and since all the method works the same we'll need to use some kind of time check to see which method is the fastest and which one is the slowest so for that I'll use performance.now the reason I'm not using console.time and console.timeend is because console.time is around 0, 0.000 millisecond accurate and performance.now is way more accurate than console.time and console.timeend and in this code we have a very 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 small time of execution so we need a better execution time standard like performance.now so coming to code let's start coding now here's how you write a performance.now code and now and we'll just console log b minus a now whatever we write in between of these two statement the performance would not dot now would calculate the time execution of this script so let's write first of all try our first method just write a simple plus sign in front of the variable you want to convert into string and then write the variable name this would convert this variable into a string literal okay so let's do performance dot now again and uh, let's write another method to convert the string into integer and that being the formal method of parse int let's supply the base 10 now what does this parameter do in the first parameter we supply the variable we want to convert into string sorry the variable we want to convert into integer the string variable basically and the second parameter or argument is called as a radical now what this radical means here is that we want to parse this integer as a base 10 integer now in computer language there are many integers like the many number systems basically like base 10 binary which is base 2 then we have base 8 then we have base 16 and all like that supposingly this is kind of like it is like 10 1101 now supposingly I want to parse this as a binary instead of just base 10 then what I'll do is I'll write 2 here so it specifies that this number is actually a base 10 number base 2 number instead of base 10 the default fallback of uh, radical is base 10 that means if I don't write here then this will automatically be passed as a base 10 but if there's a preceding 0 or x or like something which resembles to another integer like base 8 then this 10 would be uh, basically the second argument would be like base 8 instead of base 10 okay so coming back to code let's write 1024 here and let's close the performance dot now uh, let's console log the time b minus a and the third thing the third one third one okay and the third method I know is we just multiply the string with one I 
I guess I got 2 is equal to right here. Okay, uh, let's close this. Uh, let's console dialog log this time. B. No? B minus A. Perfect. Now we have got this window right here. And I'll try to refresh this. Uh, let's see what you got here now this first method right here the plus x1 takes 16 point something milliseconds in this run if we refresh this is kind of variable so this method takes around like 16 milliseconds or 10 milliseconds basically somewhere between 8 to 16 milliseconds to pass this integer so this is the slowest then if we refresh this page again and again we could see that sometimes this number these numbers are zero and sometimes this number are greater than zero so what does that mean is these these two methods are so efficient that uh, performance dot now even performance dot now don't have any integers to represent the total execution time took by these two methods so basically try avoiding using this method and in my opinion I usually don't use this method as well I basically use parse integer which is a very good and handy method and basically it is the proper function to parse your integer into any parse your string into an integer and we have got another method which is known as parse float which parses the float integer okay so we have got this here running as you can see and uh, let's try to uh, revalue x as something which is not a number let's say we have got a b c d right here let's try to refresh this page and we get not a number not a number not a number now the special thing about this not a number nan is that I think in JavaScript this is the only type or something whatever you call it which is not equal to itself that means not a number is equal to not a number would return false and that's quite impressive if I store not a number in a variable then a is not equal to itself which is quite impressive in JavaScript I have not found anything other than not a number which is not equal to itself but as usual this was a quick tip the main tutorial was on parsing the integer the string into integers so if you follow with me then I would say that console uh, the parse int method is the best method to pass strings into integer so that's all about passing strings to integers and I'll see you then in the next tutorial thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe